What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Wednesday afternoon and I'm about to head down to the gym and get a workout in. I wanna do like a lift and then walk on incline for like 60 minutes, I'm hoping I last for that long. But sometimes I don't. As of lately, I have been because I'm like forcing myself to just stay on. I'm just starting the vlog now because even though I've been up since this morning, like I really wasn't doing anything that was vlog worthy, like just stuff on my computer. We're gonna do an afternoon in my life. It's supposed to be a Center City Sips night for everyone, but I don't wanna go because, I don't know, last week I went, it was the first Center City Sips of the season. If you're not from Philly, let me break it down. Center City Sips happens in the summer. Every Wednesday here in Center City, a bunch of like bars put together like happy hours and they're outside. I truly actually, as I'm trying to explain the concept, don't even know the official concept other than it's a bunch of bars coming together for happy hours and they take place outside so people will have like a table set up and then at that table you can get all assortments of beers white claws you know things like that and it's like a huge thing that people do here in the city because it's like one of the major things like to do that people know about like center city sips it's been going on at least for like five years i'm pretty sure sometimes i don't feel like being social like i'd love to be social but then there's moments where it's like i just want to be alone and not like too much like I don't feel like doing my makeup and going out and being put together but to be fair if you guys watched my last vlog it was a weekend in my life and my weekend was really jam-packed like I went to Center City Sips last Wednesday so I went out last Wednesday and I was out Friday then I was out Saturday and I had a bridal shower on Sunday so it can be hard like making your own decision I love how I'm just like whipping this camera don't get me wrong you guys have seen vlogs like literally from last summer where like I was going out like every single night and I was like I can't stop going out it's so fun but like you know just Sometimes I don't feel like it and I like feel guilty for not wanting to like go out and be social. But I actually have a really big week next week. It's Archie's birthday on Thursday and I got him some gifts and I made reservations at like a nice restaurant and I'm gonna surprise him. He doesn't know where we're going. I'm actually not even gonna see him today because there's like the draft tonight or something or him and his friends are doing a draft party for um, fantasy football and they have like this whole like party or whatever. So that's going on at his house tonight and it's like going to like 10 o'clock. So I wouldn't even see Archie tonight anyway. So it's not like I'm just like purposely not going out to like hang out with him. And plus if I was going to Center City Sips, like I would definitely get him to go with me. And like next week I'll, I'll like try to see if he wants to go. He probably will want to go, but like I know tonight he's not going because He's busy. Okay, I wanted to get my playlist right, so I decided to go with Little Baby Essentials. And it's got all the best little baby songs, and I'm really hype about it. So if you guys have Apple Music, I definitely recommend looking it up and using this playlist. Also, I'm wearing this skirt today to the gym, and it's from Costco. My mom and I were there, and she got me a couple skirts because she has the membership. Costco memberships are clutch, especially like some of the clothing items that they have. Yeah, I actually got a couple skirts. I could try those on for you guys if you want. And also, speaking of trying things on, I just saw like an email come through that I have a package and I think it might be this package that I got sent to me by Zaffle which is like a online store where you can order clothes from specifically bathing suits and they sent me some bathing suits that let me pick them out and I picked out nine so I'm gonna be trying on nine swimsuits for you guys I'm gonna film it tomorrow it'll be a separate video so make sure to check that out okay so this one I like to wear like a little tucked in I just, I like the look of it. And then there's other ones, like a different style that I got as well. Look, it gets so sunny. I just like have to put this down. Let's go do some arms. I'm a little bit sore from pit class yesterday because it was at night and I'm starting to feel like the soreness. I feel like it takes like a full like 24 hours for me to start feeling sore. And yeah, girl's starting to feel it. We worked like full body yesterday, but more arms than legs and the day before pit class i worked my legs pretty heavy so like my legs were sore yesterday i had plans to work my upper body and abs today so that's what we're going for so to start off i took the five pound dumbbell and put it between my feet and i held it there to do 15 leg raises i cannot tell you guys 
how helpful it is to hold on to the end of the Pilates machine, which the Pilates machine is called a reformer. But if I said the reformer, I don't know how many of you would actually even know what a reformer is. Because I didn't even know what a reformer is. Maybe I'm just the one who doesn't know what a reformer is. But the Pilates machine is also called a reformer. So I'm going to refer to it as its proper name, as I should. You know what I mean? Um, I also am using the reformer right here to tuck my feet underneath while doing these weighted sit-ups. And for the push-ups, I'm just doing 10 in a row. I used to be able to bang out 20 and I'm not saying that I can't but today I couldn't and that's because I was feeling kind of sore from last night's prime intensity training women's strength class. It was really upper body focused so today I'm just sticking with 10 push-ups for each set that I do. These windshield wipers are going to be a game changer. I am using a two and a half pound dumbbell and I do about 12, so six alternating. And then I just took it from the top again. So let me break it down. I'm doing weighted leg raises followed by weighted sit-ups, doing some body weight push-ups, and then doing some weighted windshield wipers. So we've just got four exercises and I did end up doing them for three times today. I honestly was aiming for four, but my core was feeling sore to the point where I was struggling to do things with good form. For example, the straight leg raises started to like annoy my hip flexors. So I did drop the weight with those, but everything else was fine. I mean, my abs were actually kind of sore from the weighted sit-ups. And as the push-ups went on, I had to take like a little break where I just push like, my butt up into the air. I don't know why I do that. It's just because I don't want to like, lay down or something, um, but I need a break. Um, yeah, the push ups started getting a little bit harder for me too. And so did the windshield wipers. So I basically just listened to my body and hit three rounds because good form is everything. You don't want to strain something, especially like your hips or your back. You really want to make sure you are engaging your core and don't sacrifice good form for just like trying to say you did a certain number of reps. I guess the alternate way or around it is lowering the weights or just going with no weights. A few weeks ago, I was sharing these exercises and another app workout that I did. And in that app workout, I was talking about how the leg raises, I started out with using a two and a half pound dumbbell. Now I am using the five pound dumbbell with ease and I'm cranking out three rounds of 15 reps with the 15 pound dumbbell. So I'm really proud of myself and it just goes to show that over time, if you increase your weight and take your time, eat your protein, your muscles will grow. Using this machine, I don't even know what it's called, but you just can hook different attachments on. So I have this straight bar and I think this is like, oh, I should really look up what this is called and put it on the screen. Uh, but this is a bicep curl, an alternating bicep curl. And I started out with 15s for my first set and then the second two sets, I did crank out 20 pounds. I don't know why I just said crank out, but you get the point. Um, after doing three rounds of these, I went over and worked on my pull-ups. I used to be a little bit better with my pull-ups. It's kind of a repetition thing. They're just so hard and the less you do them, like, it's like, you know, if you don't use it, you lose it. So it's not that I can't do them. I also did want to highlight that I was sore from yesterday's pit class. So maybe my body was just a little bit more fatigued. Like, the fresher my upper body is, like the more rest and recovery it's had since its last upper body session I can usually do more pull-ups but today I could only do what I could do so I did as many as I could do and then I hit the resistance band and as you can just see I went buck wild on the ropes and then I walked on the treadmill gym and it's so nice out i'm like should i go on the roof as you guys saw i did go on the hydro massage and the sauna i don't normally use those but when becca was over we were using and them. i was like 
why don't I come here more often and go in this little spa room? So I made it a point to get in there this afternoon. I just thought like it would be something nice to do. Like I enjoyed it and I'm glad I did it. Like sometimes I don't really like take time to sit around and like do things like that. But I took 10 minutes in the sauna and then like five minutes on the hydro massage. So now maybe I'll go up to the pool, but I know I'm super hungry. And I also want to do some editing, shave, self tan, get ready for tomorrow because I'm going to film my try on haul. So I also want to go get those packages. So I have like a bunch of things like I need slash want to do. I'm going to open this up. Let the sun shine in. I need to get like a little basket for this because it's a comforter that I opened up to use when Becca was over. I set her up on the couch but I had to cut open the packaging that it came in so like now I have nothing to put it in and it's just like every time I look at it I'm like girl you gotta get a basket so I'm thinking that's gonna be like a home goods type of trip they normally have good things for that just wash my hands and gonna cut up some avocado or mash it up whatever you want to call it I don't feel like going up to the pool because it's gonna be a bunch of people up there I actually grew up with a pool and so it's not like a super big hype for me to have a pool so it's just like something that I like feel like I don't need to be paying for a place that has a pool because I literally don't even use it. Like even when I do use a pool, I feel like I would want my own privacy. Like I don't always feel like I want to like go up there and be around people. Like I'm sounding so antisocial in this vlog <laughs> and I swear I'm not. This is how you push out the seed. You just take your two thumbs and boom, it falls right in. This is a big avocado. Yay, and it's like so high quality. I just love the look of avocado toast. It's so cute. You cannot tell me otherwise. Oh, I think Archie's calling me. Is he? No, I don't know what that was. Maybe it was a spam call, but Archie is... Oh, it is Archie. Okay, just got off the phone with Archie. I'm gonna run downstairs and get that package. I hope it is what I think it is. Okay. <gasps> okay, it's it's what I it's what I thought it would be. It's what I wanted. I am so excited right now, I have no idea. So I'm gonna go through all the swimsuits that I picked out, and then when I do the try-on haul, I will link that in the description of this video. If you're one of the first people to watch this video, like within the first like three or four days of it being up right now, um, then the Zaffle haul probably isn't up yet, and it won't be linked in the description, but check back, check back, okay? Because you're gonna wanna see these on. I know I wanna see these on, I can't wait to try these on. But for now, I'm just gonna hold them up. So, ooh, okay. They also gave me a discount code that I can share with you guys. They came with bottoms that match. I love these little flowers. It's like dandelions or something. Cute. I did order a size small for all of these. This is actually really cute and basic and I feel like it, ooh, it's really nice quality. I feel like it's one that like, you know, I could wear. I thought it was so unique with these colored straps. like. The purple strap, so cute. It's got like buckles all over it. This is cute. Okay, I hope the bottoms fit. They are the kind of bottoms that you can tie, so we're just gonna hope they fit. And it comes with this matching top. I tried to only get exciting suits. Ooh, I like this one, except these bottoms look a little big, but maybe they're just supposed to go up super high. I love this look of it being um, like sewn or whatever it is. Cute. Ooh, I am so excited to try this one on. It's actually reversible, I'm pretty sure. Look at that, super cool. And then, look at the top. Like, I'm loving the double colors, so cool. Ooh, this one also is reversible. I don't know if that other one that I just held up was reversible, like, I don't know for a fact. Tune into the haul, but this one definitely is reversible because one side is striped and then the other side has flowers. And look, I love this little heart in the middle, it's so cute. And then the bottoms have hearts on the side. Love it. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to try this one on for sure. Oh, okay, so this one is a little just plain and basic, a nice soft pink. 
top and soft pink bottoms and I like how these bottoms have like a thin strap on the side okay this one I love the pattern and that's like one of the reasons why I ordered it it's also got these like double straps on both ends so gonna be cool to try on definitely pick this one for the pattern so yeah I just want to say thanks to Zaffle for sending me these swimsuits to try on and letting me pick out which ones that I wanted them to send me it's gonna be so fun to make this video and I'll make sure to link it in the description like I said I'm gonna wrap up this vlog I'm gonna edit I'm gonna fold some laundry and then I'm going to shave and self tan and go to bed and enjoy my night and just watch videos and look at that my air conditioning is coming on so I will see you guys in my next video